friends in this video i am going to show you how you can install wordpress in super easy way on cloud hosting of oracle cloud which gives you forever free cloud hosting so let's get started now i am on my computer screen in last video i already have demonstrated how you can get account with oracle cloud and how you can create instance just in case you have missed that video then you can go to description or you can click on this link and watch that video so that you can continue from here also if you have any question whatsoever any question regarding my teachings or my videos you can go to in guide and in here forum you can start one and i'll answer as soon as possible apart from that you will also find some deals and coupons and free service providers just to go to deal section and here you will find all the deals and free service providers list and if you want to avail any services like installation of wordpress postal or configuration or even consultancy anything whatever i am teaching you can go to this services section and you can place an order or if you want to discuss anything you can contact me from here and i'll be happy to answer your queries so let's get started i have prepared one article which discusses how you can install wordpress on cloud hosting first of all you need a domain and obviously cloud hosting so like i already demonstrated how you can get uh, oracle cloud forever free hosting and uh, a domain name you can get from namecheap or name silo or go daddy doesn't matter it's your choice the first thing would be to adding dns records now if you could remember in uh, last video in which i demonstrated how you can create instances on oracle i chose centos 8 however if you want to install this uh, wordpress i mean if you want to install wordpress very quickly using easy engine script then you must then you must select ubuntu 18.04 at this time so we have to create instance once again so let's get started with that so here uh, go to instance click on create instance and then here you have to generate ssh key pair once again or uh, if you like you can like uh, you can upload your uh, public key i'll uh, generate one ssh key pair say private key and this time i am going to say public key as well so that uh, while i'll create next instance i'll upload this uh, public key to oracle instance all right so yeah the here one more thing very important thing basically in image and shape click on edit and then here select ubuntu 18.04 all right then click on select image after that uh, no more changes here let everything be default and then here if you like you can uh, specify boot volume or otherwise 46 gb would be sufficient for you and then click on create now it will give you public ip address let me refresh this page all right so this is public ip address let me copy it and if you go to this uh, add dns records and if you go to my article then you have to after fulfilling requirements you need to add dns records so go to your uh, domain registrar whichever uh, go daddy or name chip or uh, name silo and here you have to in name chip go to advanced dns and uh, then click on add new record a record and then host at the rate and then ip address and uh, ttl to minimum after that you have to create one more record 
here you can see like i have already mentioned you have to create two a record means uh, the type of record has to be a and host name here so i think you should not have any kind of issue with it so let's uh, go back to advanced dns a record and then host name www and then ip address minimum okay save changes now if i refresh this page you could see instance is now running and here is the username so copy the ip address and next step would be to connect to your linux server and here i also have written that you need to have over 218.04 anyway so to connect uh, from your windows machine you need a special ssh client which is putty or you can use another ssh client if you have let me open the putty linux or macintosh then you can connect to your server using your terminal no issue at all you don't need putty there and then paste the ip address here then uh, remember this time we have a private key we don't have password oracle doesn't give you any password so you need to go to let me show it to you once again you need to go to this uh, connection and then inside connection you have to select this AUTH which stands for authentication and then you have to browse the key. Now going to the key I have downloaded. Now this is the key I have downloaded and it is in key format but uh, Putty doesn't recognize that format so you have to convert it to PPK format. For that you need PuttyGen. So if you go to putty.org and then scroll down and here you will find PuttyGen. So download it and then open it. Click on conversion, import the key and this is the key of my current Oracle instance. I have imported it. Now I am going to save private key and this is going to save the private key in ppk format all right so next uh, go to putty once again and then browse the key so after that click open all right you will get this uh, security alert click yes and then obviously username is one two so open to all right so i am connected to my oracle instance Next, uh, let me do something to make the size bigger of this putty. All right, so next uh, you have to switch to root user. Unless you switch to root user, you have to run every command as sudo. I prefer switching to root user. Simply type sudo minus i, and that's all. Next. Uh, Next, I am going to update the server with this command. So let's uh, update it. All right. So it took quite a while to update and upgrade operating system. Now it's time to set up host name. Now this is optional and I am going to skip it just for you. And then next is to install WordPress on cloud. And in that you have to install some necessary packages our dependencies so for that you have to execute this command let me copy it and then execute it now this is also going to take a quite a while so i'll move to next command and it says like you have to ping your domain name and check if you are getting dns entries or not in windows go to command prompt and here type ping and your domain name and today my working domain is hwdlv.com so i'm just going to paste it and now you can see it returns the ip address of my server let's verify it 
टू फोर फाइव इज एट द लास्ट एंड हेयर यू कैन सी टू फोर फाइव इज एट द लास्ट सो नाउ डी एन एस हैज बिन प्रोपरली माइग्रेटेड लेट मी गो बैक टू पटी एंड टू द आर्टिकल सो नाउ दिस दिस पार्ट डन नेक्स्ट वे विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग वर्ड प्रेस डायरेक्टली सो लेट्स वेट फॉर दिस इंस्टॉलेशन दिस पैकेज इंस्टॉलेशन टू बी फिनिश्ड इट वुड टेक सम टाइम सो यू हैव टू बी पेशेंस all right now after all the dependencies and packages has been installed on your uh, oracle cloud instance then the next step is to install wordpress itself and for that this is the simple command just uh, copy it and then paste and don't forget to replace example.com with your domain name so let me copy it once again and here my domain name is swdlv all right after that press enter and now you have to wait for some time this is again going to take a quiet time but uh, now i'll fast forward this video once again now while this uh, wordpress site is getting installed i would like to tell you more about this command in this command along with the wordpress website i am enabling cache by default and i am also installing ssl certificate which will be provided by let's encrypt just in case you don't want cache or you don't want ssl certificate go to this command and use that for wordpress installation or let's say let's say you want to create multi site so this is the command for wordpress multi site you will find more commands on easy engine github page here uh, you go and uh, you will find a uh, usage and if you are keen to know even more then go to easy engine website and there you will find everything let me show it to you now here you will find everything about easy engine so let's uh, go back to the article and uh, all right so here you can see like uh, website has been created successfully next it will ask you for email id to procure uh, let's encrypt certificate but in order to get the let's encrypt certificate you have to open port 80 and port 443 on your uh, cloud instance so let's uh, head back to oracle instance and here you go to subnet click on this next uh, click on this default security list now here you have to add incoming rule ingress means incoming and egress means outgoing so you see for outgoing all protocols are allowed all traffic is allowed for all ports so outgoing is no problem at all incoming only port 22 is allowed but you have to allow two more port port 80 and port 443 so you have to click on add ingress rule and then source cider has to be any ip address so just enter 000 four times and then slash 0 after that you have to type the source port or destination port now here in source port you leave it as blank and in destination port type port 80 and comma 443 after that add ingress rule now you see tcp traffic for port 80 and port 443 is allowed next go back to your uh, terminal now type your email id here and then press enter 
and wait for SSL certificate to be installed on your system. It uh, shouldn't take much time. Now WordPress installation has been finished. Here you can see all the details. Obviously Chrome entry is also created. Now site, this is the site and uh, this is your WordPress username, WordPress password, database uh, name, database user, database password and everything all the details. So let's uh, go to this domain and uh, check for WordPress installation. Congratulations, WordPress is installed on free forever hosting of Oracle. So let me log in to WP admin. Let me get the username and the password. You see WordPress is working fine and it's loading fast as well. So this is how you install WordPress on Oracle instance and if you have any questions regarding this WordPress installation, feel free to ask in in guide forum and I'll be happy to answer. If you want to avail services then you know you have to go to services in guide services and you can avail that. Also, you can drop me a mail at uh, also if you want any kind of support, you can email to me at uh, contact at the rate in guide dot in. In next video, I'll show you how you can create SMTP server on Oracle cloud. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.